damn, I can't win this debate. Yeah. You got mom and pops. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't win this. Victory is in a sexy. Hi guys, welcome into First Take, your take exclusively on Facebook Watch on this Feel Good Friday. Thank you so much for hanging with us. So on Monday's show, we posed the question, which team are you most confident in going into the NCAA tournament? And now, we welcome in this week's winner, Alonzo Jones of Louisville, Kentucky. Alonzo, congratulations, thank you so much for being with us. Hey, no problem. I'm glad to be here. Now, before we do get started, I, want, I don't want to put the car before the horse, but I brought gifts. One hairline for Stephen A. right here, right here, and then also a junior right. for me. Just a little ju a junior, you know what I mean? Well, wait, well, wait, well, I we love both, it. You guys have something know. in common. We, listen, we both know you needed a hell of a lot more than me, but I will say this. I have to be nice to you when it comes to the hairline <laughs> because I heard that your mama's mad at me. I don't upset mamas. Mamas love Stephen A., so I got to be nice, <laughs> a little bit nicer to you on that front. I apologize, Mama Alonzo. I apologize. I apologize. CBA <laughs> loves the kids. <laughs> and he loves mamas. That's right. All right, let's That's get right. into the topic at hand, guys. So, Alonzo, you've said sure. you have the most confidence in Tennessee heading into the tourney. Tell us why. Well, there's a few reasons, okay? Tennessee, for me, they've got all the components that leads up to a championship. And you talk about size. Yeah, they don't have a lot of size, but they've got big enough guys that are kind of queeners. Uh, you got Schofield and then Grant Williams in the middle. Both of these guys have six, six rebounds a game. And also, let's not let's take into account the fact that they had the largest margin of victory yesterday over any tournament team. Now, they did tie with Villanova, of course, 26. They beat their respective opponents, 26, Villanova against Radford. However, this is the same Tennessee team that had Villanova down by 12 at halftime in their tournament earlier this year. So if you look at the entire makeup in their matchups, they got to play Loyola Chicago the second round. Miami were bumped. They were bums to begin with. However, Loyola, they play defense, but I don't believe in Porter Moser and that team. I think Tennessee's too big, too athletic for them to do what they did to Miami. I do. So, in other words, I'm just looking at Tennessee because obviously you picked them and you threw me for a loop because I pay very little attention to teams that really don't matter. I've never been a believer in Rick Barnes. I respect him, but ain't no national championship on his resume. I'm not really concerned about him, but I'm just looking at some of their losses. <laughs> Let's just go down the list here. Help me out here. Yeah. You made an excuse about them losing to Villanova. Okay, what about the one in North Carolina? You, you want to break Carolina, that down for us? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute a second. How, do, I see losses here. Arkansas and Auburn, is that true? Is that true? Arkansas and Auburn, is that true? Missouri, they lost to Missouri. Did you bring, I, I noticed how you left that out. You brought up the loss to Villanova, who won a national championship a couple of years ago. Jay Wright is obviously an exceptional coach. And, and, you, and, I, and I understand yeah. that. You're meant to North Carolina, too. But you left out Auburn and Arkansas and Missouri, teams like that. Can you explain why you left those losses out, sir? Well, they were just, they were, I left those losses out because they weren't worth mentioning. You know, Stephen, and one, one common thread between all three of those, all, all those teams that you mentioned, where are they at? Hmm. Last time I checked, they were all in the tournament. Arkansas, the seventh seed. Auburn's, what, a four seed? And then North yeah. Carolina. There's 68 teams seed, that get in the tournament. Season. What, do you want a cookie? It's 68 teams that get in the tournament. I mean, that's where we going now? <laughs> they won 68 teams, really? <laughs> really? Yeah. There's CCA teams, but you're naming losses to teams that are all in the tournament. I'm now, just saying, I meant, I meant just, they lost to Georgia, too. They lost to Georgia, too. <laughs> Let's not forget that. It, so here's my thing. Georgia, I got Michigan did. State. I got Michigan State. I'm looking at Michigan State in the Midwest. That's my pick. H to the Izzo, along with Langford, along with Bridges, along with Nick mm -hmm. Ward. Their size, their ability to rebound, their experience, the experience of a coach, that helps. And they got to get through a region where it's Duke and Kansas. Any of those teams will come before Tennessee. I mean, if you're unless you're calling Tennessee your Cinderella, that would be a different story. But oh, it sounds to oh. me like you, you, you bloviating like they should be one of the teams. <laughs> I mean, my goodness, Tennessee is on this level. I don't know about that. First of all, let's reverse. You guys have had Migos on the show. Yeah, that way. Now, ten Tennessee, Rick Barnes is the head coach. Okay, you talked about Rick Barnes, so I got to defend the guy. The guy's got 23 tournament appearances. Do you know how, ten how many That's Tennessee true. tournament appearances Tennessee has? Not 20 in program history. So this is an upgrade to even have a coach like Rick Barnes. Also, you talk about Rick Barnes so blasphemous. However, you forget the fact that he's one coach of the year in three different conferences, the CAA and the Big 12 and now the SEC. Now, How did things also, work out at Texas in the end? 
I mean, come on. Stop and by the way, Alonzo, Alonzo, can I ask you a question? Alonzo, can I ask you a question? How old are you, Alonzo? How old are you? I'm 27. In your lifetime, has Rick Barnes ever cut the nets down for a national championship? Has that ever happened? He's been to a Final Four in 03 with TJ Ford. However, he's That's got right. 17 players that he's got 17 players that are in the NBA right now. It's, it's, it's especially one that you so often talk Kevin about. Durant. Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. Also, Lamarcus Aldridge, DJ Augustin, and Jonathan Simmons went handy the other night, both combined for 67 like points. He's coach. He's coach stars, okay? And he turns teams and players into stars. Now, the thing about this Tennessee team that I love the most, they don't have a bona fide superstar. And when you don't have a superstar, you you have the luxury of having individuals who will play unselfish basketball. You got people that don't mind passing the ball around because they know they can't get it done themselves. Schofield knows he can't get it done himself. Brad Williams knows he can't get himself get it done himself. Lamonte Turner, Jordan Bone, and all those guards know that they can't get it done themselves. Not to mention, I got to shout out James Daniel, who's the Howard University. Well, transfer. listen, listen. You can, uh, t- by the way, let's be clear. You can spout out all the names you want about Tennessee. You got me there because yeah. I don't know a damn soul on Tennessee because they're irrelevant to me. They, I, I don't know anybody on Tennessee. So, so you are absolutely right about that. So let me ask you this question: Since you got them yeah. in the South Region, right? Who, who's Tennessee gonna beat to get to the Final Four? Because we're not there. I have to go through Virginia. Is anybody else? Uh, They're going through Virginia. Now, (laughs) Virginia, they lost their ACC six man of the year, right? Kyle Guy, he led the Cavs in scoring for three games in the ACC Mm -hmm. tournament. He had a great player. I think he gained a little bit of sauce when he cut the man man bun off. However, you look at the matchups. Basketball's about matchups. I both know that. You always say on the show, I've covered basketball 20 plus years. We know that, Stephen. Now, you know that. Now, what you need to realize is, you take him out of the equation, they've only got – they have two losses, West Virginia and Virginia Tech, Virginia does. They play fast, but they play defense. That's the same style of play that Tennessee can duplicate on both ends. That's West Virginia and Virginia Tech. Both of those games were in the 60s. Tennessee doesn't mind playing that speed. Now, to your pick, Michigan State, can I talk about them? Can I, can, can I say something about that? Can, can you like hurry up? Can, 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 you, you, can you hurry up? Because right now you're talking more than Max does. But go ahead. Oh, yeah, 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 quick word, quick word. <laughs> now, Michigan, yeah, Michigan State. Go ahead, go ahead. Mich- Michigan State, you said that you have them for all of the last championship. When I saw that the other day, I was in the office. People looked at me. I laughed, and they wonder why I was laughing. Well, I laughed because Michigan State, Miles Bridges, phenomenal talent. Blue Walls, man, he don't even play anymore. Cassius Winston's got him coming off the bench now. So that lets me know from the jump, this team was never for real to begin with. Some of the losses were suspect. The losses to to Michigan. They I weren't like for real. That. They I, weren't for real. They were twenty nine and four. Two of their losses came they, against Michigan, and they weren't for real. Late in the year, they were dominant. They faltered. Yeah, you can win games in the Week Big Ten when you're playing Rutgers in Nebraska. They played Rutgers twice, didn't they? Didn't they? Didn't yeah, they? that's true. That's true. And who did y'all yeah. play? Yeah. And who did y'all play? And I say y'all, even though you in Louisville, you root for Tennessee. But I'm saying, I mean, who did y'all play? Listen, listen. Or rather, who did y'all beat? We know who y'all played. Who did you beat? Who did we beat? Uh Well, we did get the boom out on. We got the boom out on Kentucky twice. You know, and Kentucky. Wait, wait, wait. Time out. Time out, Alonzo. Let let me just say one thing, because I get to listen to two of the best every day. You had great information. Loved your delivery. I heard heard you shout out HU, but real quick. So did you go to Tennessee? Because I'm still confused by this allegiance, because this was a real left. No, 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 no. Listen, my father, the great coach, Glenn Jones, passed away January 2015, lung cancer. That man coached college football 16 years. I've been a Tennessee fan. It's all good. That man, I always told him I would be here, and I told him that I get a chance to talk about Tennessee one of these days. I've been a fan since 1995. You know, I played well, for Tennessee. Uh, for- hold it, hold huh? it. It's a tribute to your, it's a tribute to your daddy. And on top of it all, you got mama watching me because I got on you about your hairline. I yeah. mean, damn, I can't win this debate. Yeah. You got mom and pops. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't win this. Hey, and oh, hey, by the way, hey, I help hey, you. Hey, I'll hey, help hey, you yeah. out a step further. Are you ready for this? I'll help you out a step further. My yeah. dumb behind picked Arizona to go to the national <laughs> championship game. Oh, and they lost the Buffalo last <laughs> night. I mean, come on. So, I mean, I had no chance. I had no chance. Congratulations. Congratulations. All Alonzo, right? thank you so much for being with us, and uh, we'll all be rooting for you. You definitely have a future in this business if that's what you want to do. So appreciate the time. 
Yeah, but but but, but take your notes I'm out of your hand. Yeah, I appreciate take it. your notes out of your hand. Yeah, Learn to speak extemporaneously oh, as opposed to oh. looking down in your notes. I saw that. Oh, it, it's it's just the bracket. Just the bracket. <laughs> okay, that's fair. The bracket's all good. Just all right, bracket. Alonzo, take care. That is all, all right, for bro. today's show. What do you think? Write us uh, with your final takes in the comment section below. We want to hear from you guys. And remember, you could be next week's winner and get your chance to debate with Stephen A. or Max right here. So join us on Monday afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern time, for First Take Your Take on Facebook Watch to see what next week's topic will be. Also, don't forget to watch First Take Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern on ESPN. Enjoy the tourney. We'll all be breaking it down back here on Monday. Have a good one.